In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use custom animator override controllers. They'll allow you to take one character or one object and duplicate the animator that's on it and change out the animations. So no code, no different scripts, uh, very simple and it should hopefully increase your workflow and make things quicker and easier. So let's get right into this here. So what I did is I, I did a bit of pre-work here. Um, this is the original prefab of the customer I'm going to use in this example. And what I'm going to do is I made duplicates of them. Uh, could have probably just used a prefab variant, but I just ended up duplicating it. So these four prefabs are basically the same, just a different mesh on them. But if you look, they all have this animator controller called C Customer 01. Uh, each one has the same one. Other than that, everything else on them is the exact same. And then what I did is I got a bunch of animations from Mixamo. And if you aren't familiar with getting free animations from Mixamo, I already did a video. I'll link it down below on how to get those and import them into Unity. And in this example here, I kind of set up a little folder hierarchy just to keep things clean. So I named them one for each of the four customers. Inside customer one, this is where I have, um, this is the animator that's on all of them. And if I open it, it's just these two animations, an idle and a run, very simple. So what we're gonna do is right now, that's the same one that's on all of them. Uh, what we're gonna do is make override controllers of this animator. And what it'll let you do is add different animations to each of those customers without having to change your code, without having to change the states in the animator, literally nothing. So uh, I just wanted to show this because I've seen a lot of people, especially on game jams, where they make a lot of different enemies and they're all essentially the same enemy, just different sprites or different, uh, different like 3D mesh, but everything else is the same. And they'll make different animators for each one with different states, even though it's the same thing, like a, a walk, run, attack. Um, in this case, save you a lot of time, very simple. So let's just right click on this animator here. And we're going to go to animator override controller. I'm going to call this customer 02. Now, if you select this one, up here, it's gonna show you, it wants to know what controller you wanna override. So let's put in the customer 01. And what this will let you do is, it shows the two animations that are on that controller. And all you have to do is you drag in the new animations you wanna play here, and it's that simple. So what I'm gonna do is we want the same run for each. So I'm just gonna add the run, and then I'm gonna drag this into customer 02. Let's do the same thing and make customer 03. Okay, drag our animator in, drag in our run, move him to 03, and one more. So this one is customer 04, drag in the animator, and then the run animation, and let's move this here. Okay, so what we gotta do now is I already did this in each of these folders. I went through Mixamo and I just found a idle animation I liked for each one and I just put it in here. So all we have to do is select this one, drag in the idle, then do the same for three and the same for four. And now this is a very simplified basic use of this. Uh, I wanted to keep it simple so it wasn't very confusing, but you, you can make huge animator override controllers for, you know, animators have like 40 different states on them. Um, that's where it really starts to become a benefit. So I just wanted to keep this simple so you kind of understand the concept of it because a lot of people I talk to on Discord and stuff never even heard of the animator override. Okay, so let's go to our characters here. These are our customers. So if we look at the animator, the first one uses 01. This one, if we just click on this link, select customer 02, and customer 03, and customer 04. And it's really that simple. So if I just play the scene now, this is the game I'm currently working on. And we 
probably just watch it. Some customers are going to roll in right away. And they should all have different animations. Okay, so here's another guy. Yeah, so different animation there. Oh, let's see, there's four of them, so hopefully one of the other ones will show up right away. Okay, so these all look different. I just want to see if the last one shows up right away. Yep, I'm just going to start. I kind of have it set up to that they come in on waves and there's a delay between. So if I restart it, we should see uh, four or five people come in pretty early. Go order some junk while we're killing time here. Ah, here's a great one. So this one's going to be our, quote, Karen customer. So she's already got this angry, I hate everybody pose about her. So we can see it's working here. This one's very basic and subtle. Um, this guy's swirling around more. So that one, might have to see. I think that one might not be looping, might be the issue there. But other than that, they're all working. So let's just double check. I believe that's customer 04. Yeah, and that's all it was. We just didn't have them looping. So just added that. And yeah, and that's how you add a animator override. So if you have any questions or you want a more detailed explanation or a better example, anything like that, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do for you.